I have the good fortune today to be uh, spending some time with Al Goldstein, who's the founder of Screw Magazine, the magazine out of which the New York uh, porn scene basically was spawned. So we're just sitting here, we're just going to talk to Al, maybe talk a little bit about anything, about the well, old days. Well, here's what I want to talk about. Okay, I'm going to make an appearance in anything you have, but I want to eat pussy and get my cock sucked. And I want you to get away from women who weigh the same thing as hippopotamuses. <laughs> I know you like them large. You know, I think your mother was scared by an elephant at the, at the zoo. <laughs> Give me women who, who, who are 110 or less. You like, and, you like the same women. I like thin women with great legs. I'm not a tit man, I'm a leg man. And I want to I I find their clit. I want to eat them really good. And then I want to come in their mouth. I want them to get you come. Okay, I'll have to come out of my shell. You can see why I'm the publisher of Screw for 35 years. Yeah, yeah. And you, Joe, are a very sweet man. Thank I you, want, sir. I want to thank you. You thank have you, courtesy sir. and class. Thank you, sir. You've got a big TV out. I love TV. Uh, people would think I watch porno, but I, I have to for penthouse. But I watch core TV. I love to see trials. I'm, I'm not the, the defendant. And mm. Al, I'm just going to look on your yeah. wall and you see You see this. Wrong. It's everything from uh, uh, Larry Flint up there, Joey put a few go. Dennis Hoffa owns a whorehouse. Oh, Dennis, my hero. In, 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 in Nevada. There's Larry and his brother. There's a lot of Ron Jeremy, because Ronnie is now fatter than me. He's a hero yeah, piece true. of shit. Uh, uh, what's his name? Harvey Fierstein, who's in uh, a hairspray, and he's not come through for me. He's a fag with no memory. He will, I asked him for house seats, he didn't even call me back. Grandpa's up there. Oh, Al Lewis? Yeah, Al there Lewis. Bob there Guccione. There's Al. There are some pictures of me with Hefner. When I, before I started the show, I was a press photographer, so there I am with President Eisenhower and a speed graphic. By the way, you know, I've lost weight because I had that surgery, and I had not seen my cock in 20 years, Joe. You know how exciting it is? Usually I see the girl's head, I see her from the, from the eyebrows up, her head bobbing up and down like she's looking for <laughs> apples. And I think one of the class acts in porno, Jamie Gillis, yes. who never got respect. He's like Jerry Damiano, who directed Deep Throat. And the devil, Miss Jones. Uh, uh, Jamie never got the respect because Jamie was too busy getting his big dick sucked, getting laid, and he's the worst businessman in the world. Mm -hmm. And he, instead of being a pussy hound, he should have been working, been reliable. And he doesn't work. And he, to me, he is really the best actor in the business. Oh, I think I he's in his fifties now, right, yes, Joe? Yes, yes, correct. Right. He he started as a Shakespearean actor in That's the right. 60s. So is this show a popular show yet that you do? Uh, yeah, uh, they both watch it, which good. is a good, That's it's good. a good thing, yeah. yeah. You're a good guy, Joe. You're smarter than, than, than my staff, and I like you. And again, uh, you show class. Thank you, sir. I wanted to ask you about uh, things yeah, like... Joe, did get a copy of the newspaper I forgot I published, which was, this was found guilty in Wichita, Kansas. And uh, my first conviction, uh, a misdemeanor in 1971, and, and it's, it's on my record, showing pubic hair in 1971. You can see that now. You see how far we've come. We won the sex revolution to the point that the problem with pornography, and I know you have to deal with it, is it's boring. And most people are desensitized. But uh, I published X, which was photos I stole from movies, and then uh, I'm turned into a comic book. And uh, Screw was not found guilty, but X was, so uh, I dropped it. In 1968, when I started Screw with $150, Joe, I knew, I, I was 30, 32, I knew men were walking dicks. And women wanted to play games, and they blackmail us. The problem with pussy is it's attached to a woman. And if it's a Jewish woman, you're really fucked. And so I started the screw because I think sex is something positive. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of what you do, Joe. I just wish you'd get some thinner women so I can get turned on. I don't e want to eat a hippopotamus. I mean, and give me a thin woman with great legs who wants to be eaten by alcohol. See, I'll even let you videotape it for Thank this you. show. I'm on it. And then I want to pop a load in her mouth. Absolutely. Okay? I want to, you know, it's not much, but it's all I got. <laughs> When you say Screw started in 68? Yes, and I was arrested 19 times for Screw. The last two years I've been arrested by an embezzler who uh, is walking the streets, but I did a time in Rikers and I'm, I have three years probation. So I'm, I, I know I'm the grandfather of porn because I have all these arrests, but people like you who follow make me feel proud. Larry Flynn came out six years after me and Larry is courageous. Al, let me ask you a little yes. bit about, uh, about Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue started, I think, in 1975. 75. I used to, 
there used to be a show called The Underground Tonight Show yes. on Channel D. I the guy did nude interviews, and yeah. the people always said, oh, well, you do nude interviews. I said, no, that's another fat shoe. Right. I never did it. Putting together the first issue of Screw was total chaos. My partner was a guy named Jim Buckley, who was honest and sweet. He's now in Santa Barbara publishing a Republican newspaper. We didn't think we'd last. On one hand, we thought we had invented the printing press. The other hand, we, we knew we'd have problems. And my mother was subpoenaed when she was alive at a grand jury. I was arrested every three weeks. There was a detective, Donald Gray, who I liked him because he let me stop in Chinatown before I got handcuffed and fingerprinted. But it, it was amazing. But the fact we've lasted 34 years, and I'm not a businessman, I'm an, uh, I'm an editor. The, the fact we've lasted 34 years, and me lasting 24 years without my partner, Jim Buckley, is something I'm so proud of, because I believe that, that sex is a wonderful thing. I mean, I would rather be eating uh, the Diver Belgian chocolate than pussy, but the ice cream is bad for my diabetes, and eating pussy is not. It's like insulin. It makes me live long. Understood. Understood. Uh, uh, the idea that at age 67 I can do a fuck film, sponsored by the Association of Retired People, by the way. Uh, they're the official sponsor of, of, of that film. Because to see an old Jew like me, pop a load and eat young pussy is a joy. Uh, the other thing that's uh, uh, been so exciting is working with Jerry Damiano. Uh, I'm in this film, uh, which you may not know about, Joe, Let, let My Puppets Go. It's a puppet film. We probably have a copy someplace around. Uh, uh, Linda Lovelace sucking my cock and again having photos of it, having Sika sit on my face and Gloria Leonard being a girlfriend. It's been a wonderful life. Okay. And there's Guccione, I'm up there with Jerry Lewis, a guy, Adam Clayton Powell, who I have to land a Bimini, which I had to sell because of many problems. Anyway, you shoot, I'll leave the lights on for you. Al, thank you so My much. Pleasure. Thank you, you, sir. You stay here.